morning. Passion plus path equal purpose. That's what we're going to be talking about this morning. Passion plus path equal purpose. How many of you all are passionate about new home sales? Yeah. <laughs> or are you just in it for the paycheck? How many of you get super excited every time you go to your sales office for the opportunity to make someone's dream come true? Or do you go schlepping off to the sales office and hope you get some traffic? Let's talk about passion. Once you discover what your passion is, nothing can stop you. Your passion is your inspiration. Your passion is the fuel that keeps you going and going and going. When you discover your passion, I guarantee you, you will live bigger, bolder, and more authentically than you can imagine. As sales coach for Melinda Brody and Company, I get the opportunity to coach with thousands of salespeople each year from across the country. And when I coach with them, I always ask them first and foremost, what is it that motivates you to be in new home sales? What is it that drives you to be in new home sales? You see, financial gain is important, but it can't be the only reason that you're in this industry. Ask yourself, what motivates you? What inspires you to get up each and every day and do this job? It's not easy, is it? It's a tough job. Weekends? Ha! Huh, forget about it. Days off. You always take your two days off? Not really. It's a tough job. You have to have something more that's driving you. Your motivation is the fuel that keeps you going. The money is the reward. Your motivation is your why. Why do you get up each day and do this job? And it can't just be about the money. In coaching, they teach you that the formula to determine your purpose in life is passion plus path equal purpose. Passion, what is it that you love? What is it that motivates you? Path, what do you do 40 hours a week? What is your career? When these two align, that's when you discover purpose. So you want to make sure that your path and your passion are in alignment. Number one, you've got to have information. I think statistics state now that 90% of the people who come into your sales office have been to your website. So it's not enough for you just to know what's on the website. You need to know everything. You are their information resource. You need to know about your community, your builder, your competition, the area, everything. They're coming to you as their new home sales specialist as the resource. So information is key. Is that you offer solutions. You've got to become the world's greatest problem solver. Who likes getting objections from their buyers? Anybody? Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that because most people go, ew, objections? No way. I hate them. I have a client that goes, I love objections. Bring them on. Bring them on. They're like little directional signs getting me closer to the sale. Bring on the objections. Become the problem solver. I'll tell you, in the video shops that I watch for Melinda, I can tell in the first five to ten minutes whether that video shop is going to be fabulous or whether it's going to flop. You know why? One word, passion. Believe it or not, when I'm watching the videos on a computer, I can see the passion. I can hear the passion. I can feel the passion. And if I can, by looking at it on a computer screen, don't you think your buyers can tell when they're right in front of you? Can you fake passion? No. You either have it or you don't. And if you don't, your buyers can tell. First and foremost, passionate people are more excited than others. They get excited. And you know what? Their buyers love it because they're excited. And we're all excited together. Kumbaya! 
The passionate, excited people are the ones in the sales meeting when the sales manager says, you know what, we just released lot 57. The passionate person goes, oh my God, that would be great for the Joneses. They wanted that home site.